Welcome to Upserting Records from MailChimp to my SQL. In this tutorial, we will show you how to load data from MailChimp to a database while inserting new records and updating the existing ones. To follow the tutorial, you need an active MySQL and MailChimp connections. We have subscribers in MailChimp and a database table with the list of contacts and their MailChimp stats. We work with the following custom table. You may find the table example and the links to other useful information in the description below. Let's create a data flow that loads data from MailChimp to MySQL using the following logic. As a first step, it takes list members' data from the chosen mailing list from MailChimp. Then it checks if there are records with the same email value in MySQL. If it finds such records, they should be updated. If MailChimp's record value is unique, such records should be inserted into MySQL table instead. To create a data flow, click New and select Data Flow. Click on Untitled to name it. Our data flow will consist of the following components. Source to get data from MailChimp. Lookup to check if MySQL and MailChimp tables have common records. Conditional split to choose whether to update or insert records obtained from MailChimp based on the lookup results. Two target components, one for each branch of the conditional split. Let's start with the source. Here we get data from MailChimp. We can do it using both execute command and execute query actions. Let's do it using execute query. Click on source. Select MailChimp as your connection. Choose execute query action and click on open query builder. We need to get all the list members from a certain mailing list. To do that, drag list members table from the left pane to results. Now we're getting all data from list members table. To get data that is related to specific mailing list, apply a filter by list ID. Open list members table, drag list ID field to filters and assign a value of your choice. Now let's configure lookup. Click on it and select your MySQL connection. Choose lookup action and MySQL list members table. Use email as a unique user identifier and set result column to subscriber ID. Finally, map MailChimp's emails with MySQL emails by opening Mapping Editor and selecting Email on the right. If Lookup finds a match, it will return the record value, otherwise it will return null. This happens due to the first or default Lookup behavior selected by default. You may read more about lookup behaviors by following the link in the description to this video. Now we have two cases. The first one is when lookup returns a record value and the second one when it returns null. First means that lookup found a match. The second means that no match was found. Let's create a condition branch for each of them. Select conditional split and add a conditional output. Give it a name. I name it match not found. Then, open expression editor to create a condition. We use a built-in is null function to check whether subscriber ID is null or not. Once done, connect your conditional split component with one of the target components. Select match not found from the dropdown. We will configure first target to perform action when match is not found. When you set a condition in a conditional split component, it automatically generates a default output for cases that doesn't match your condition. Connect the default output of the conditional split with a second action. It will manage cases when matches were found. Let's finish our data flow by configuring targets. Click on the target that is linked with matches not found output. Name it insert and select MySQL as your connection. Select insert action and choose a table to insert records. Once it's done, open mapping editor and use auto mapping tool to map fields. If some fields are not mapped automatically, map them manually by selecting corresponding fields from the properties list. Click apply to save changes. Select target that is linked with the conditional splits default output. Name it update and select my SQL connection from the dropdown. Choose update action and select a proper table. Select subscriber ID and keys to define which field will be used to match records. Once it's done, open mapping editor and use auto mapping tool to map your fields the same way we did inside the insert action. Click apply to save changes. 
Now we have a fully functional data flow that get data from MailChimp and inserts it into my SQL while updating common records and inserting unique ones. If you still have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for more. Bye bye.